What is up, YouTube? I am your boy, Tony Vogue, coming at you with another late night video. And today, we're going to check out the top five scariest footage of Ed and Lorraine Warren. If you don't know, that is the couple of paranormal researchers that prolific movies like The Conjuring, The Amityville Horror, um, Annabelle, etc. All these cases were investigated by this pair of people. Before we do jump in, I just need you to subscribe. And if you already subscribed, drop me a like and a comment. We'll be best friends forever. It's your boy Tony Vogue, finger thumbs. Hey, ah, let's get into it. Warren. Starting us off in at number five, Psychic Photos. If you're a fan of our channel, you may remember a video that we did on the eerie objects and artifacts that you can observe at Ed and Lorraine's Occult Museum in Connecticut. Well, here they go into detail about one particular type of creepy object that they have a handful of at their museum, psychic photographs. So what are psychic photographs? According to Ed Warren, a psychic photo is a phenomenon in which a camera, being an impartial witness, captures a ghost on film. But the crazy thing is, is that the image that you see of the ghost is one that it projects itself. An image of what it believes it looks like. This clip. Oh, okay. So they're saying ghosts project the ghost an image of what they think itself. they look like. An image not of what, what it believes look like. it looks like. This clip explores how exactly that happens, and the Warrens describe instances in which they've witnessed spirit forms appearing beyond the physical eye. Ed also tells of how he captured the White Lady of Union Graveyard with his camera, one of their most famous images. We could put the first slide up and look at it. Wow. Well, there you're seeing your stereotype ghost. Look at the appendage-like arms and legs. You know, when you see these uh, little cute ghosts that are, are painted and drawn on Halloween, this is your stereotype ghost right here. And at number four, the Amityville House. This piece of footage, published by Mysterious World, features Lorraine Warren retelling her experience at the Amityville House. The Warrens in the past had gone to the famous Amityville Sorry. House. It's one of their most famous cases. It's the place in which a man named Ronald DeFeo Jr. shot and killed... Yeah, this man killed his whole family, and then some other family moved in, apparently. I think they were named Lutz or Six something. Six family members of his in 1974. And a year later, a new family, the Lutz family, had moved into hey. the residence, only to be terrorized by a violent demonic presence. The Warrens had visited the house in an attempt to help the Lutz family, part of which was adapted into the 2016 movie, The Conjuring 2. In this video clip, we get more insight on what the real-life events that occurred there were like. Lorraine tells her interview that, I quote, Places like Amity, if you gave me $1 billion, I wouldn't go in that house again because it messed up my life and my husband's life. She also tells the interviewer that the Amityville house was where she levitated, which is pretty creepy. And at number three, the effects of seeing a ghost. Comment below, like, do you buy this shit or not? Yeah, I'm on the fence. This seven minute video. I mean, I do believe in paranormal and supernatural occurrences, just not in the volumes and of the types that people generally describe. Features Ed and Lorraine Warren alongside a guest of theirs named Rod. Rod has seen that multiple ghosts and has a discussion with the paranormal experts about not within the our realm of, of knowledge seeing a ghost yet. and how it affects one's life. He goes on to explain the intense sorrow that he felt after seeing the ghost, which just so happened to be the White Lady of Union Graveyard. He experienced night terrors, was extremely upset, and had excessive tremors for months, reoccurring whenever he was reminded of the event. Ed goes on to explain that the sadness that Rod felt is something called radio telethesis, which happens when a human picks up on the emotion of a spirit when they have a close physical encounter. The fact that something like this could occur to any individual is pretty darn creepy. A good friend of mine had died, and uh, a couple nights after that, sitting in my bedroom, I saw the figure of a woman in front of my window. So I had, my bed was on this end of the room, and my windows were there. And from the light coming in, I could see a woman sitting looking out my bedroom window, and where the window that would be a fucking trip. You would wake up in the middle of the night, you see someone fucking looking ended, out your window. That's where the figure ended. And at number two, the Borley Rectory. The Borley Rectory is said to be one of the most haunted that sounds familiar. Places in the UK. A nun had been buried within the walls of its church, and once found, was moved to a nearby graveyard. But ever since, there's been some serious haunting. According to this video, though, Ed and Lorraine have been to that location over 200 times. Talk about courage. The duo discussed their first experience at Borley Church in 1976, with Lorraine saying that the investigator that she was with, who was very skeptical to begin with, was assaulted by a spirit, claiming he could not breathe, and that something was pushing him. Later on, they listened back to the audio that they were recording 
recording while they were there. Lorraine said that you could hear a woman's voice over his screaming, saying the words, hit him, hit him. And finally, in at number one, Jeez. poltergeists. In this clip from a documentary, Ed and Lorraine talk about poltergeists and their dangers. If Oh man, Poltergeist was a good movie. I need to see it sometime. Features a clip Sorry. of them that they recorded with a family in Connecticut dealing with a poltergeist, with the family's face blurred out in order to give them privacy. It starts off with the group saying prayers, and then Ed tries to communicate with the spirit. We hear the spirit making banging noises in response. Ed proceeds to ask the spirit who it doesn't like, listing off each individual in the family. It finally answers yes via the knocking to the family's mother. Then Ed confronts the poltergeist on his own, and we see chairs and furniture moving around the room. The video continues, showing a clip of the family's little girl being bothered by the poltergeist, who moves the chair what? that she's sitting on. The Warrens would then later call a priest to perform an exorcism, which wasn't on camera. Arguably, you can see why. Although, by the end of the clip, the two of them note that there's no way of knowing if a poltergeist may or may not come back to haunt the family. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command you to reveal your identity. Alright, there we have it, friends. Which of these... I mean, rope? All that shit could be on some string. I'm just offering alternative viewpoints. I'm not saying that the Warrens are full of shit, and I'm not saying they're not. I'm just here reacting to videos. You decide. Drop me a comment. What do you think? It's your boy Tony Vogue. Please subscribe to my main channel. Follow me on TikTok, Tony.Vogue. Find me on Twitter, T0NYV0GU3. Uh, me and a few friends of mine. I've been spending a lot of my time on this Discord server. Um, it's really cool. Discord.gg slash Black Velvet. It's an adult day lounge and night cafe type deal. It's uh, very NSFW and also very friendly. It's a very close-knit community. And it's pretty cool just hanging out and chilling with fucking amazing people. So come hang out if you want to. That's where I'm at. Anyways, it's your boy Tony Folk, Finger Guns. Ah, easy.